Oh, hey there. Bet you forgot about this voice. Now, who am I kidding? Of course you didn't fucking forget. Who would fucking forget a voice as marvelous as mine? A lot of you out there may be realizing something right now, and I sound different, don't I? You can hear a little bit more of an echo. I'm gonna work on it soon. I'm gonna get some uh, egg cartons and spray paint them black or something and then put them all over the walls because uh, I'm cheap. No, I'm not actually cheap, but the egg cartons thing works and why would I spend X amount of money on like something that I could easily do at home? More of a DIY kind of guy. You dig? Motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on? It's your boy, your motherfucking Justin. It's also your boy, motherfucking Sin. He's playing the video game right now because I just don't ever get gameplays because I'm just a little bit too casual. But then again, on TF2, I'm not really speaking so much for Overwatch, but on TF2, you can't deny that you've probably spent as much time as you have playing hardcore, being casual and like just letting yourself die and being like a sandwich heavy or something. Am I right or am I fucking right? Let's be honest here. I got like 2,000 hours on the game. A thousand of them are of me trying my ass off. And the other thousand are probably of me just fucking sitting in a corner and doing dumb shit. In my opinion, video games are about fun. And I have a great time doing almost anything on video games. Hell, put me on an idle server. Make me sit there and get killed for two hours. I'll find a way to make it entertaining. Today, we're going to be doing all sorts of things. Well, maybe not all sorts of things, but... I think consensually we're just gonna be talking. What's, what's wrong with talking? Come on, seriously? I have a very nice radio voice, uh, Breaker Breaker. Uh, welcome to the Howard UNJ Stern Show. Today's topic is gonna be about lunch. Do you like it hot or do you like it cold? Stay tuned, sexy. No, not really. But pretty much, I'm just gonna tell you guys what I've been up to, and I'm actually gonna tell you a story too. We're gonna start with the motherfucking story first. You guys like that? And don't worry, I haven't forgot about your stories either. I, I will get to those eventually. So today's story, it takes place with a... UNJ, you're not Justin, Google him and go subscribe to his channel. As of right now, when I'm recording this, I'm 21 years old and this story actually just happened like nine hours ago. So today I was getting a tattoo. If you followed me on my channel for a while, then you know that I have a bunch of tattoos. And I also recently bought a new mattress. You, you have no way of knowing about that, but I did buy a new mattress and it is so comfortable. It's memory foam. How do you guys feel about memory foam? Do you guys like memory foam or do you have some kind of preference? Personally, this is my first memory foam mattress that I've ever bought. And it is so fucking comfortable. And for the first time in my entire life, well, maybe not my entire life, but for the first time in like a year or something, I slept all the way through the night without waking up once. It was the best. I slept so good that I woke up when my alarm went off. Like I'm the type of person that I wake up like maybe an hour, 30 minutes before my alarm goes off because I like to be prepared, you know? So that didn't leave me with a whole lot of time, but it was no biggie though. I wasn't going to be late to the tattoo place, but I didn't have enough food in my house to like just whip up something right away. So I was like, whatever, I'll fucking go to Burger King. The way that I just said that, like I sounded really upset. Like when I just said that, I'm not upset at all. And when I said that to myself, I was not upset. I was like, I'm going to go to Burger King. You know, I was excited. I was excited that I didn't have to cook and that I was also going to get a delicious burger and fries out of it. But anyways, I hopped in the old Mercedes and I drove on over to Burger King, which is right next to the tattoo place. And the line was so backed up. And I was like, yep, fuck this. And I literally backed out of the line. <laughs> like you're not supposed to do that. That's kind of dangerous. But I backed my car out of the line and I fucking drove it and parked it in front. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go in, order my food, eat it in my car. And it'll be, it'll be that. We'll leave it at that. It'll be fine. So I go inside. There's nobody in there. I'm literally the only person there occupying it, which means that I'm obviously first in line, but there's nobody there at the cash registers to fucking tell me I'm first in line. So I'm kind of just awkwardly standing there. I'm thinking like, ah, oh God, you know, they're probably busy with all the drive through nonsense going on right there. And finally I see some fucking guy who looks like scarce. And this wasn't flannel scarce. This was, I work at Burger King scarce and YouTube didn't work out for me scarce. To everybody out there listening to this right now, I want you to go to scarce's channel, go to his most recent video and fucking tell him you're not Justin is glad that you don't work at Burger King. Anyways, scarce's doppelganger walked up to the cash register and call me weird, but I was standing there and I was waiting for him to fucking say something. I also walked up to the counter and I was literally just standing there and I was waiting for him to say anything. Like to be like, oh, hey, how's your day going? Or, hey, what can I get you? But instead, no. Scarce's dead-eyed, retarded fucking doppelganger was just standing there at the cash register looking at me as if it was his first day or something. Looking like that was the first day of the rest of his life. I mean, this guy, like, if you looked into his eyes, there was no soul in there. There was just a broken man who was very upset. So anyways, what seems like forever was only about like five to 15 seconds where we're just standing there staring at each other because he doesn't have the decency to like say, what can I get for you? And he wants me to engage him, which, you know, whatever, it really, whatever, it doesn't matter. I asked him, I said, hey, can I order now? Because like, I was thinking maybe there's something wrong. Maybe I can't order. And that's why he's not like engaging me. And he doesn't say anything still. He just looks at me and he nods his head. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm not worthy enough of scarce as fucking words to come out of his fat fucking mouth. So I make my order 
And he's like, okay. And I hand him my credit card. He swipes it. It's A-OK. -okay. And I wanted to know how much I spent because I'm on a budget right now. And I see the receipts print out. They're printing out a little fucking printer machine that they have there at the cash register and he takes them both out and rips them in half because i get a receipt and he's supposed to get a receipt too and he has them like both behind the counter like he's literally just fucking holding them both behind the goddamn counter and you'd never guess that scarce was still just staring at me as if i killed his entire family with a knife and i reached out to grab the receipt like the one that was closest to me like they were both like right next to each other relatively and i was just like okay i'm gonna reach out for whatever receipt and it's not gonna be a big deal and as i was reaching for it i was like I'm gonna take my receipt, okay? And fucking Scarce just like snapped at me. He was like, hey guys, Scarce here, what's going on? Today, you're not Justin came into my Burger King and he tried taking my receipt and it was like a big deal. That's not actually what he says. Scarce actually was like, sir, that one's not your receipt. This is your receipt. And he fucking actually said it like that too. Like he said it like all anger and shit as if I'm in the wrong for him not handing me the goddamn receipt, let alone having any kind of dialogue with me. And I was like, oh dude, this motherfucker. Not today, Scarce. I looked Scarce dead in his eyes and I said, watch your motherfucking mouth and get my food. And I posted up right then, right there. And at that point, Scarce had just walked away because he had no rebuttal. I'd like to let it be known too, I never, ever, ever complain to the people who make my food. I don't even complain when they get the fucking order wrong. That's just not the kind of person I am, and I would rather somebody not step on my food, and this is probably the first time ever, like probably ever, that I've complained about food, like at a fast food place or anywhere. But seeing as I did complain, I did have the fear that they were going to step on my food because I made fun of Scare. So earlier when I said that I posted up there, I legitimately posted up there. <laughs> I was standing at the front counter where I had a view of everything that was going on in the kitchen, and I was standing there like Taz in ECW. I don't know how much wrestling fans are out there, but the way that Taz would stand in ECW before his matches, that's exactly how I stood with the exact same face i was ready i was ready to see anybody do some kind of scandalous shit to anything and for me to go back there and slap somebody around hey guys it's scarce and they made my food they didn't do anything to it i saw them make everything and wrap it all up put it in a bag and then they handed it to me and i went on my merry way and that was that i know you guys like to have a moral of the story and the moral of that story is that if anybody who's being an asshole at their job somehow directs that at you when you're not being difficult whatsoever when you're just trying to get in and get out of somewhere if you are 100 percent positive that it is not you that is doing anything like seriously like if you have to take a step back and think what could have i possibly done wrong and if you know for sure that you're not doing anything wrong and this person who's working at this place is just being mean for no reason go ahead and say something to them don't let them treat you like that just because they're the one providing a service to you doesn't mean that they have the right to provide a shitty service to you if somebody's feeding you or doing something for you they have no right to be mean to you None whatsoever, especially one that's like a, a give and a give and take kind of thing. You gave money to take the food from them, and there there should be no emotions in that whatsoever. It should just be a straightforward, "Hey, how are you? Can I take your order?" Yes, you may. Here's my fucking money. But if you are the type of person that complains about literally everything at a restaurant, even if they get the order right, then you know you, that's on you. You must deal with it. I save this part for last because you know whatever. I, I want to entertain you guys before we like have a nice little chit chat. But let's talk real briefly just about what's going on with me. I really miss you guys. Like this sounds weird, but I legitimately just miss you guys. When you're doing YouTube the way that I'm doing it, I do it on my channel, which is a growing channel, and then I do it on this channel, which is a well-established channel that's still growing. It's like being an artist in a band or a musical artist or something, and it's like you perform in front of a hundred people, and then you perform in front of thousands of people. And like that's like the, the feeling that I get when I'm making these videos for you guys and then making videos on my channel. And I have no problem with either instance. Like let's say someday my channel blows up and I fucking get more subscribers than PewDiePie because we all know I deserve that. I would still want to go on this channel and make videos. Like even if I fucking made it because my goals don't stop at YouTube. I want to do something that's much bigger than YouTube. And if I were like a fucking millionaire, I would still find time to make videos for you guys. And it's because of the audience. It's like like, in my audience, I had the faces that I recognize, and it's still growing every single day, and it's great, and I love getting to see new faces on my channel. And then on this channel, it's the same thing. There's an audience of people who comment on every single video, even the ones that don't have me in it. And it's, you know, it's just nice to see the familiar faces and to have that feel-good feeling. And, you know, I really like that. And honestly, I feel like I have a closer bond with you guys on this channel than I do with the fucking people on my channel. Like, I hardly get to talk like this, the way that I'm talking to you guys right now with my audience because I have like this kind of constant thing going for me, you know? Something I'm constantly chasing after. And I just feel like since I have such a small channel, every move that I do has to be right. I don't have time to really talk to them the way that I want to talk to them because I need to entertain them so I can grow. So it's a really good luxury that I have. I get to post a video on this channel and say a little bit of how I feel about you guys, you know? Obviously, I'm not saying everything, and there's just so much things that go on in everybody's lives. But it's nice that I get to at least say this to you guys, that 
missed you. Fucking comment your stories down below, and we'll make another story video. As well, I wanted to have more of a dialogue with you guys. How would you guys feel if I did a live Overwatch gameplay? I have this really awesome video. It sucks. It was in the beta of Overwatch's last update, and it would have been the first video of its kind, but Sin was like, oh, no, you know, I'm afraid that... They're going to be upset because we didn't talk to them about it. And, you know, I completely agree with them. You know, we want to put out the best stuff for you guys. And we care about you a lot. So how would you guys feel if I did a live Overwatch gameplay thing? And it's really good. It's like, it's epic. There's a clutch moment in it. There's rage in it. There's salt. It has fucking everything. It's awesome. Please say yes. Even if you're not an Overwatch fan, it's still something that would be very enjoyable for everybody, I think. Which brings me to the next point. Over on my channel, I've been busy. And that's not the reason why I haven't uploaded on this channel in a while. But I have definitely been busy. And some videos that I think that you guys might like over on my channel just to maybe give you a taste of the type of stuff that i could do on overwatch on this channel i want to recommend some videos for you guys anybody who likes to divide themselves into little communities and shit like that that's unacceptable you should be able to like everything and anything and you should also be able to like both tf2 and overwatch but on the off chance you're still being very annoying about it and very petty about it i have a video on my channel called toxic watch that i think that everybody would really like if you want to have something to argue with other people who for some reason just can't like anything go ahead and watch toxic watch i'll say it again just to be sure you should like both tf2 and overwatch they're both awesome games but if you're still having that really annoying argument about which game you prefer toxic watch will give you all sorts of shit to argue with with other Overwatch players. It's a video that really shows the differences between TF2 and Overwatch, community-wise at least. As well, you can go to my Overwatch playlist and you can watch all of my Overwatch videos and you can get a feel for the type of stuff that I've done on the game. And that's not gonna be a for sure of what the videos on this channel are gonna be like. I have better plans for that. And the video that I wanna put on this channel that's a gameplay is really fucking awesome and it's nothing like those videos, but it's definitely awesome. As well, click on the screen and check out Sin's previous videos. They've been really fucking awesome. I'm Justin and you're motherfucking not as always. And I miss you guys. I'm happy we got to do this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment your stories down below. Don't forget to give me permission to put an Overwatch video on this channel. Don't forget that you can like more than one video game. And also have a fucking awesome day. Go out and kiss somebody really hot. I'll see you next time, guys.